Hi guys, Arte here. So for today's video is about criminal team, but this this video is especially for the play to, pay to win player who have a specific expert that I'm going to show later, and the player who is looking for low turn amount of of team. So for the pre uh, so you can see it's 36 turn here, and this is my team at the bottom here. But it is fully manual, so you it's better you look through um, the whole showcase and understand how it's going to go. So for the first buff here, you are going to look for win defend plus. If you don't see any win defend plus, go back out, challenge, come back in, keep re refreshing for win defend plus. Okay, I got win, and then here you are looking for a win attack increase. So I don't have, so I will go back up. Uh, so you have to keep. Uh, repeating until you hit both is win. Okay, now I managed to hit it. And then for this part, we are coming here and we are going to pick the Captain Resonant Phase uh, Resonant plus 2 because my Shenpin is R0. I need it to be R2 so my Shenpin S2 doesn't stun any, my unit. But if you have R2 Shenpin, you can um, either pick the R2 focus on other Esper or maybe you want it to be a whole team increase Resonant um, plus 1. So this is the team. Champion, you will go, you'll be going for relief set and avatar. Uh, the defendant, the definite here is not gonna really matter much. Then for Tava, you're going for attack set and avatar. It's better if you have that definite here and skill up Tava. This Tava have to be your own Tava, not the Tava from the support because unless you have R two, uh, you have uh, you have R two champion, then you can go for the ta and you can go for the Tava that uh from from a support. Then Jin Chu here is going for the trial one, going with attack set and avatar. Then Abigail here is ocean wave and whole fast set. You don't have to, uh, not necessary to have the definite. Then Fabrice here is going with ocean wave and HP set. Okay, so when everything is all set, we are going into the battle here. I'll briefly go through one turn manually here, and I'll showcase another one that is my perfect run at the back of the video. So, uh, how to clear your t um, team 1, uh, wave 1 is S3, then you're gonna S3 Tava on the first one, then left 3, use S3 of Jin Chiu to clear wave 1. This is everything will be fixed already. Then, um, champion S2 on Tava, then you kill the big boy first. If, if your assist is on Tava and her, his HP is like half already, then you can use Tava on the first mob. But so for my situation now, the mob is still kind of healthy HP. Your my S3 can't kill him, so I'm gonna kill the big bo uh the big one here to reset my CD, and then I'm gonna S2 on Jin Chiu, and I'm gonna hit the first one to lower down the HP a bit. Then I'm gonna AP push on Tava, then I can kill him. Then everyone left a bit HP, right? So then I push my Tava. Then kill him. So this is how you're going to clear uh, wave 2. You can shorten down this wave if your RNG is good. Okay, then for wave 3, you're going to use S3 champion. Then the main idea for this team is you want to prop as many relief set support from Alice. And you want the relief set support... The assist count, uh, the S, okay, sorry. Champion as the relief set prop will trigger S1. Then S1 will call in another ally to damage because of the general. So you want the S1 to trigger Tavers assist, not the rest. Okay, then I S3 on the boss. I S2. Then I'm gonna S1 on the boss. So I, I, the reason why I S1 is I want to proc Champion's Relief Set. Then here you're going to go to S2 to make your team survive. And then I'm going to S3 on Tavor. 
to make Tavor have invincibility. Cause you mainly want to protect Tavor. Yes, good. Avatara proc. And then hit. So there's a lot of RNG in this um, short turn fight. Okay, then here I'm not going to use S3, S2 because I still have the stack here. So I'm just going to use S1 on the boss. Okay, please. Okay, so you can see just now the relief set from Champion Pro. You want to pray that the relief set Pro Champion's S1 and Champion S1 going to assist Tever to attack the boss. This is the main idea for the team. So S1, it didn't proc, but it's fine. I'm going to S2 on Tever. Good, the assist is on Tever. Then S1 on Tever again. Okay, proc relief, please. No, it triggers on Fabris. So the RNG, this is the RNG part. And if your RNG is good, the Ocean Wave proc, you can o straight away use S3 on Tavo, it's even better. Okay, so you can, now I S1, please proc. No, it didn't proc. Okay, so now for Jin Chu, it doesn't have any buff anymore. So S2, and then I S1 on the boss. The reason why S1 is I want to proc the relief set. Good, Tavo, nice. So this is the perfect RNG if you can keep triggering the relief set and then assist on Tavor. Okay, call in Tavor again. S1. Okay, I still have the buff so I can ignore it. Okay, I S1 on the boss. Relief set. Trigger, nice, good. Tavor? No, it triggered Tiger. Okay, then I call in Tavor. S1, relief. Nice. Relief Tavor, please. No. Fail. If so, actually, I can end the turn already. If just now, like my relief keep rocking and the tavern keep um, triggering, so it depends on the RNG. Oh, nice tavern, nice. So the, the you are gonna try to keep praying for RNG. So here you can just like S one the boss. Then if you trigger avatar here, then you're gonna kill the boss already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is how. A, how you're gonna complete the turn um, this trial within a very short turn so this this record is a 38 re um, turn record this team can do technically like 33 turn or 30, 30 turn until 40 something turn it's still very good turn round okay then I will show my best recording now okay so this is my best recording Okay, so you see S3, my table kill it, and then I will S3 on, on the mob. Then S3 to clear the the mob. Then here, as usual, I'm gonna S2 on table. Okay, you see, this is what I meant. Oh, but it didn't trigger because of the defend down. Like what I did just now from the walk, uh, walkthrough showcase. Then I'm going to call in Tavor. Then Tavor S3 on the mob. Then Fabrice is going to call in Tavor. Boom. Okay. So everything the phase 1 and phase 2, uh, wave 2 is the same as what I did just now. And now I'm going to S3. Then now what you're going to do is keep praying. It keep blocking the assist to Tavor. Okay, so everything set up like just now. So the major RNG part is, you'll see it later. Okay, so I don't S2, right? I S1 on the boss. Tavor S1. Then 
Tavern S1 again. It triggers Relief Set, and Relief Set trigger the Tiger, which also attacks through damage. And then I'm gonna AP push the Tavern again. Tavern S1, proc Relief Set. Relief Set calls in Tavern back. So this is like the best RNG. Is you S1, Relief Set procs, Relief Set procs, and triggers to Tavern. And you see, Relief Tech. Uh, release set trigger, it calls in Tavern. This is the best RNG. Then Tavern S1 again. Then the boss is almost, almost going to die already, right? Then what I did here is I'm thinking if I should use S3 or use S1 to gamble for the relief. And in the end, I tried S1 to gamble relief, which is prop, and it assists Tavern. So you need like very good RNG. Here, technically, it, uh, I'll have a better RNG if I cast, it, uh, cast S1, which I forgot. And Tavern killed the, the boss here. So in the end, the record was 36 turn, which you can see it here. 36 turn. So world ranking number 3 at the moment. I will still try to shorten my turn because it's, still, it's RNG based, right? Yeah, so that's all for the video today. Hope this video is able to help the pay to win people out or the one or the people who have champagne and tavern. Alright, so see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.